Hello, I'm Molly. And I'm Kavitha. And we're with the Rule Advancement Foundation International, RAFI for short. Today's video is brought to you with support from the North Carolina Specialty Crop Block Grant Office. This is the fifth and final video in our series on record keeping for crop insurance. Today we're going to go in depth about record keeping for a relatively new policy called Whole Farm Revenue Protection. If you're not familiar with how crop insurance works, stop. We recommend taking a look at our Farmer Resources section on our website www.rappiusa.org slash farmer resources to get a better idea of the topics we're going to cover. Don't worry, we'll be here when you get back. So what is Whole Farm? Whole Farm Revenue Protection is a relatively new crop insurance policy through the Risk Management Agency of the USDA. It's the only policy available nationwide. As the name implies, Whole Farm applies to your whole farm under a single policy, unlike other types of coverage like NAP that require a crop by crop basis. So what makes Whole Farm different is that Whole Farm rewards farmers for having diverse operations. What this means is that you get better coverage and a better deal on your premium if you've diversified your income across multiple crops and livestock. So what does it take to be eligible for Whole Farm? Whole Farm requires some more detailed paperwork than other kinds of crop insurance. To be eligible for Whole Farm, you must meet some basic criteria. You have to have a farm number. You, make, you must make less than $8.5 million in insured revenue and you must share your revenue through five consecutive years of Schedule X. There are some exceptions to how many years of tax records you need to show. In some cases, you may only need up to three years of records, but check with your crop insurance agent to see if you qualify for these exceptions. How do you buy Whole Farm? You can purchase Whole Farm Revenue Protection through a crop insurance agent. The USDA actually has a great tool to help you locate your nearest crop insurance agent, available at this link. Remember, unlike other policies, Whole Farm is made to reward farmers for having crop and livestock diversity on their operations. This means that to get better coverage, it benefits you to have multiple crops and or livestock. How do you apply for Whole Farm? Like NAP, Whole Farm is only applicable for the current crop year and you apply one year at a time. It does not apply retroactively for your operation. And for each crop year you want coverage, you need to provide the following. A farm plan for the year, your historic revenue, and your projected revenue. What is a farm plan? Your farm plan is basically a record of what crops and livestock you plan on producing and how much of those you plan on producing in the year. If you're raising certified organic crops, this also includes your proof of organic certification as well as your organic plan. Whether you're conventional or organic, you also need to include what kinds of markets you're selling into, like wholesale, direct, or to restaurants, and the prices you expect to receive for this crop year. Your historic revenue records will help you establish that price. So what is historic revenue? Historic re revenue is based on five consecutive years of your Schedule Fs. If you don't file a Schedule F, you can use other tax forms for your farm and create what's called a substitute Schedule F. For more details, talk to your crop insurance agent. Here's an example of a Schedule F. As you can see, you have to report details of your yearly farm income and expenses. These can range from loans and crop insurance payments to fuel for your truck. Your crop insurance agent will use this information to do some more specific calculations for your whole farm policy. The third thing you need is projected revenue. Projected revenue is exactly what it sounds like, an estimate of how much money you plan to make off of your operation. Your crop insurance agent will calculate your projected revenue based on your farm plan and the historic revenue you've received in the past. So how to track revenue? Revenue is determined by looking at both price and yield. If you want a refresher of this idea, check out our video, Basics of Record Keeping, for more details. It's a good one. <laughs> for Whole Farm, you record your revenue through your tax forms. These will detail your farm revenue, expenses, and profits. If you don't get the picture right now, this is all about your tax forms. If you don't currently file a Schedule F and want to have Whole Farm coverage in the future, that's great. Start with just keeping the basic records. We recommend beginning by tracking your yield and crop price for each crop year. Since Whole Farm is based on revenue, tracking price is crucial for this policy. As we've mentioned in past videos, the gold standard for establishing price is a third-party verification. This often looks like keeping contracts or receipts. Basically, it's any official documentation that's created not just by you. This means that you have to go beyond just showing your own ledgers for your operation. For Whole Farm, it's very important to have this documentation since your premium will be based on your historic revenue and projected revenue. So in conclusion, we just covered a lot of ground in the last few minutes, but here are the main takeaways. Whole Farm is a great option if you're already fairly established in your records, and especially if you have a diversified operation. However, if Whole Farm seems out of reach for you right now, don't be intimidated. We recommend starting by tracking your yield and your price each season, and you'll quickly build up your records. 
Thanks for watching.